right, let's get this going. Let's get this popping. Let's get it on. Uh. Right, hello. I'm gonna come up for a bit. Yo, yo, yo. Hello to all you out there in YouTube land. My name is Michael Sam, and this is Late to a Party once again. And uh, gonna have to excuse me. I've got a bit of a cold, so if I sound a bit rough, apologies. You know what I mean? Uh, so today, I just wanted to do a quick one. Um, I've just come from work and I'm a bit tired, to be honest with you. And um, basically, it was. Is based on racial slurs and what it is is that I was watching a youtuber um, the guy's name is uh, uh, Quincy Co Cozo and he does the real life TV UK so apologies if I pronounce your name wrong there mate and uh, check out his channel it's great you know what I mean this guy holds no punches he's raw he goes in and talks common sense you know what I mean he's crude rough around the edges but the point comes across clearly but anyway um, he was talking about a video that had been come out recently where this white guy was cussing out his girlfriend. Yeah, and what it is is this white guy, he, he affiliates with black people, he wants to be a grime rapper or something like that. I don't know, I didn't really look into his background too tough. Um, but anyway, he's got caught, he's got his girlfriend recorded him cussing her out and. He was using the N word left, right, and center. You N love with this, and I don't want you hanging out with them ends that, and uh, you know what I mean? I don't like ends this. We well, didn't say I don't like ends, but he didn't like his girlfriend hanging out with the black people, you know, in a word, right? And um, that's not what interested me. Um, that, that, um, you know, that's everyone knows where people are going to go with that one. That's not what interested me. Um, what interested me was. The, the, um, something that uh, Quincy actually said or struggled to say should I say and that was this he was trying to in his commentary he was doing a bit of a devil's advocate kind of thing where in which he was saying well you know what right what if the roles had been reversed you know what I mean because at the end of the day there are quite a few black people out there, there are a lot of black guys out there who don't like the fact that there are black girls going out of white men and in the head, in the and in the same heat of the situation and the heat heat of the moment, could you imagine a black guy cussing out this black woman or his black girlfriend for associating with white men, right? And he tried to give an example of this, and in doing so, he kind of stuttered and struggled to find a white derogatory term that I think was that specific to white men or white guys in this country, you know? So as he was talking, he was like, could you imagine, could you imagine, you know, you're there in the heat of the moment and your black girlfriend's sitting there and you say, well, I don't like you. I don't want you hanging out with these white... Well, you know, and then he just filled it up by saying, you know, using derogatory language. I don't want you to be hanging out with these... And then he filled it up by saying, you know, slur words that relate to white people or something like that. I'm paraphrasing at the minute there. I'm just paraphrasing. I, I'd have to watch the video to give exactly what he said, but I'm paraphrasing there. But like I said, the bit I found interesting and what caught my ear was how he, how hard he found it to think of a derogatory term or a slur word or phrase that is specific to white guys or white people in general, I think, because this is not the first time I've thought that. Now, I know there's one word that everybody knows, and that word is, you know, the word that sounds like a car beeping its horn. Yeah, <laughs> you know that word there, right? But what other, what other words do you know or that you can think of that you could say that when a white person hear it, that white person can immediately turn around and say, you racist so-and-so, back to you as a black person, yeah? And this term cannot have the word white in it. So you can't say you white so and so so. It can just be a word you say that is specific. When you say it as a black person or as an Indian person or as a non-white person, when you say this word to a white person and you're using it in a derogatory way, they know this. Can you think of a word? Or another word other than the car beeping sound one? Because I find it hard to think of one. I'm struggling. I really am struggling. You know what I mean? And words like dickhead and twat and prick, those words don't count because anyone can be one of those. That them words, them them the universal words. Anyone could be one of those. Yeah, I'm thinking a word or a phrase that you know is specific. 
Like, you know how the N-word is specific to black people? You can say P, the P word that's specific to Indians. You could use, there are certain words that you could say are specific to Asians from like China and so. Excuse the ambulance going by. Yeah. Can you really think of one that you know that is specific to white people in this country? Other than the car beeping one. If you can, please let me know in the comments below. <laughs> My name is Michael Simon and this is Late to the Party. Peace, I'm out. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, share and all that good stuff. Yeah, peace.